I don't think there's, I'm not much for histrionics. I, I look at some coaches and I say, you know, when they're, when they're up and they're moving people around and they're waving their arms and it's like, don't you coach during practice? And that's where I think our, all of our staff understands the hard work takes part. Let's put the guys in the situations that we think that they're going to be in. And I think I've got a coaching staff that has been in those situations an awful lot that we can take it into the practice gym and say, okay, when this happens, here's how we want you to react. And yeah, there are times where you, you see an opportunity uh, to communicate to a particular individual, uh, this is what you want done, and you jump off the bench and you do that. But if you're also doing that in practice, it becomes second nature uh, for those guys to, to take that information in a in a little five to seven second sound bite from you to them and they know what you want as opposed to taking that five to seven sound, second sound bite and making it a 20 to 30 second time out. Um, I firmly believe that the players win and lose matches. Now, can I win a match? Yeah, probably not. Can I lose a match? Uh, yeah, uh, I can make some bad decisions. But also, I've made some decisions, I've made some mistakes in matches a couple of years ago. I turned in the wrong lineup. I had our two middle blockers, two away from each other. We had a rotation where we had no middle blocker. Our players fixed it. We were down five to one. We took a timeout, and we ended up winning 30 to 20. And it was not me. It was Edgardo Goaz saying, I'll control the offense, watch me, guys. It was Dennis Devalier saying, let me control the passing rotations. You just listen to me. These things don't happen if in practice these guys aren't doing the same thing every day. And whether I screw up or not, it really boils down to what they can do on the court and how they respond to it. And when you get teams that can respond to adversity really well and embrace it, uh, and the coaching staff is on top of things, uh, you got the makings of some uh, pretty good success there.